Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is Fighting Spirit Mania. Set to game three between Striker and Seriosity. Upper end corner we have Striker starting as the blue Zerg. Up left hand corner we have Seriosity. And thus far, again, Seriosity hasn't been able to pull a win. It looked like he might have been able to do it last match. Where he got... And I like what he did there. He piled up the units off two bases. I feel like there are a couple windows that might have happened. It's just... It's so hard to tell with Striker. Um, but still able to get headwind and get into the late match. He did have upgrade advantage. He had a huge supply advantage at a couple points. But there were a couple of critical mistakes. The big critical mistake was observer control as he was moving across the right-hand side of the map, just donating a lot of units. And that just swung... It just feels like that one moment swung a huge portion of the map uh, of the match. And Striker... I'm not sure if I want to call that really good positioning on the lurkers of Striker. Uh, I feel like it was more Miss Micro of the Observers uh, and them getting too far ahead of the army on Seriosity support, uh, part. Pylon on the front door, Probe moving out to go ahead and get first scout on Striker. Striker going for a 9 pool to start off, which it should force a Forge and two cannons out of Seriosity, assuming Seriosity doesn't want to try to play it a little bit too aggressive. Drone trick. Ooh, he found it and he's going to try to hide it? No, he's going to go ahead and move that probe back in. Sometimes you can get the edge of the creep and try to hide the probe along the corner and play the game from there, but he wanted to go ahead and get a look at that spawning pool. Needs to, uh, and he was going to go for, yeah, he's been playing a little bit lax. He needs to get that probe in position to drop the forge because at, against nine pool, uh, that can be a game ender. Is he just going to go for Nexus in, anyway? That would be near suicide. Okay, no, he is going to go ahead and drop, he's going to drop the forge. Um, going to be a while, but honestly, these Zerglings still might be able to get through if they just go ahead and make a run at it. Seriosity late on dropping that Forge. Maybe playing very weary against his opponent Striker. I, I get it. I get it. Uh, totally understand. Zerglings spawning. One of them going to go ahead and back off. Get, ooh, a lot of damage in that probe down. Nothing working out for Seriosity this match. Zerglings now making their way across. Double cannons warping in. But with the timing of everything, I think those Zerglings still might have a shot at getting on top of those cannons. We'll see if probes pull off the line. We do have two probes. Another probe going across. Actually, okay, good. Distracts the Zerglings for a brief moment. But these cannons still only a halfway morphed. And probes are not there to provide additional defense. Is Striker going to realize it, though? Striker does not realize it. So, he mi so probes did pull off the line in droves to defend this. But Striker, not quite able to capitalize. And eats a single shot from Zergling for his efforts. So Seriosity stays in the match. But dodges a huge bullet there. Does manage to get another Probe Scout in here. Third base being grabbed by Striker. Extractor up. Uh, I think at the... I gotta assume around like 220. Somewhere around there. Somewhere around there. <laughs> Who cares about gas timings anyway? Uh, everybody cares about gas times. Nexus being planted. And a gateway should be there momentarily to go ahead and complete some semblance of a wall on the front. Critical that that probe scout stays alive to get a good look at drone saturation. Thus far, a lot of drones, a lot of lost mining time, honestly, for Seriosity. So he's already going to be playing a little bit on his heels. But keep in mind, this was a nine pool, so it's less of a big economic opener. Gateway warping in. Yeah, it just feels like a lot of opportunities lost because of sloppy play. These Zerglings having trouble hunting this down. Hydralisten going down for Seriosity, which I'm not sure if this is going to be a faster... This feels, I think, early for a 973, but potentially a 973 bust. And the so very confident. Looks like he's got the Zerglings blocking the ramp. Very confident that he's going to go ahead and be able to deny this information. Three clock base. Uh, there. So f so let's see the drone saturation as it continues. Hydro uh, yeah, and I think this actually might be a little bit of a faster version of it. I could be off. I could totally be off on this. We'll see. Hydro speed upgrading. Um, I know there's variations where it's like 9... 9, 6, whatever. Things like that. The probe scout manages to sneak through. Does manage to see 7 drones at the natural expansion and a blockade. We do have 2 drones here at the 3 o'clock base as well. Let's see if the Zergling is going to be able to go ahead and sneak across there 
and get that scanner. So yeah, we got. So it, this does look like pure nine uh, nine seven three. Well, maybe not nine six three. Close enough. How many drones we got here? Yeah, close enough. Hydralisks being produced. Essentially that. Uh, Seriosity sees it, so he knows he needs to plant. Potentially, he knows he needs to plant cannons. Stargate warping through. I feel like this isn't my best casting day, by the way. <laughs> Just gonna chalk that up. Stargate halfway uh, morph, and second assimilator warping in. He is getting a second pylon down and that third photon cannon, and he's probably gonna want a fourth. It just feels like this is late because of a lot of the other action that happened. Two pylons preventatively being placed. I think he needed another cannon on top of that. Gateway being worked against only two zealots, not even a, a forge. Weapons being upgraded, not that I think it would have finished. Oops, forgot to take this action off. I guess I could have just looked in the upper left-hand corner to be able to play it from there. But anyway, it looks like Striker wants to just do it heads up with this. More Hydralists are moving that direction. This is going to be five cannons, but only two Zelts defending the front. So if Striker goes for it, Seriosity is going to need to pull probes out the line. The Overlord moving forward, which is usually oftentimes an indicator that they're serious about this, just in case some Dark Templar were trying to come in and prevent. And yeah, more, more Hydralisks making it across the field. So Striker looks like he wants to go for the bust. Another pylon being planted on the front. So this is going to be a total of six cannons, seven cannons. See if Striker thinks better of it. The Zealots very quickly being focus fired. Now the cannon's being worked on. Top cannon first. I don't think this is enough to bust through, even without the probes coming off the line. But we will see, focusing on the rest of it. Two cannons, three cannons remain. But yeah, the Hydro's going to go ahead and be forced to back off. The Corsair able to sneak through and get eyes on everything else. So more Hydralis pushing through. Th all is not lost, because Striker still has 27 drones. He's going to go ahead and grab an additional hatchery at 3 o'clock. But Seriosity lives. He lives! In the midst of this. Another pylon getting taken out on the front. Rebuilding his forge behind this. Striker is relenting on his attack. Corsair needs to get out of there. It looks like it wants to try to sneak an Overlord kill before it gets wiped out. And it's going to be a race. Looks like it is going to die. A handful of shots off and now this is transitioning into what is this five hatch so we got five hatch hydralisk with an evolution chamber to sim city on the front and unfortunately for seriosity upon losing that corsair he doesn't have a good look at the amount of hydralisks that are coming at him and so he's now overproducing cannons to try to defend his front layer going to be finishing momentarily as well which means this can turn into a hydralisk lurker contain Citadel of a Dune warping in. Handful of additional Zelts being produced. So Seriosity for the moment has a stronger economy, but overproducing defense, maybe through, uh, I don't know, going armor actually before weapons. So maybe thinking about those mid-game High Templar as a more valuable asset than his Zealots uh, at any point in this match. Maybe just playing a little bit flustered and off. I'd actually like to see him build another Corsair just to kind of get some scouting information. Templar Archives warping in. Third gateway being planted. And Striker going to go ahead and back off. And add a sixth hatchery. So move these Hydralisks more into defensive position. Holding the ramp. Making sure that just in case some Dark Templar snuck through. They wouldn't be able to get position. So things looking good for Striker all of a sudden. He can go at, he can, he's still economically behind. But he can go ahead and recover this. He is grabbing a Spire. And without Seriosity being able to detect or check anything, we'll see if Striker is planning on doing a rapid tech switch. He is starting to float some minerals to work with, so I'm almost wondering if he's just going to go a quick six Mutalisk. I'm going to bring up that production tab momentarily. If he's going to go a quick six Mutalisk uh, once this spawns, and just go for yeah, he's at least yeah going for a grouping of Mutalisks to go ahead and do a turnaround punish, and without cannons to defend. This line, Seriosity is going to get caught with his pants down. He doesn't really have a lot of anti-air. This is something that Striker is just excels at, is finding that gap and punishing it. Corsair moving in. It's going to, honestly, it could probably get ignored. The Hydalisks can probably deal with it. Lurker Tech is also a backup, so we can just go ahead and drop uh, Lurkers and go for a Lurker Contain to follow. I think that Corsair saw the Mutalisks making their way. So he, yeah, so cannons being morphed in. 
And it looks like the Mutalisks aren't going directly towards the main. They are going to be able to go ahead and engage these Zealots and provide a degree of map control otherwise, though. So not all is lost for Striker out of these Mutalisks. Also, the Corsair is going to go ahead and pull back and pin back. These Zealots are actually able to sneak through. The Mutalisks still going to go for... So Cannon's being more along those back lines. I thought that would be sufficient defense as it is. A single Lurker Egg blocking the ramp at both directions, so these Zealots kind of not able to get a lot accomplished. And the Mutalisks going... Still able to pick off probes in the midst of this and slow Seriosity's economy down. Managed to get... How many... Kind of want to select the... Got, got a handful of kills. The Zealots now exiting. The Hydalisks moving out to go ahead and try to hunt them down. They're kind of hiding in scared packs around the map. And missing this drone going ahead and grabbing that bottom right hand base. Finally, additional Corsairs have been produced. It looks like they're able to at least pick off an Overlord. But now all of a sudden, Striker ahead on economy. These a Lurker escorting a drone to that bottom right hand base. A Zealot trying to pick away at this hatchery. But Mutalisks and Hydralisks and everything else making their way that direction. Additional Zealots trying to group up. They do have Zealot leg speed at the very least. But there's no Observer here. And the Corsair switch, uh, prop uh, the, the Mutalists actually forced Corsairs to get fielded, which is also going to delay that robotics facility by proxy, I think. Now that I think about it, uh, all the way across. So, Striker, next level brain moves. The Zealots being cleaned up, able to get a drone kill or two, but not able to get the hatchery or anything else. Second Forge being built. There's the observatory, finally. But Seriosity still locked to two bases, behind in supply, robotics facility very exposed on the front, does have a mix of Dragoons and Zealots, High Templar and Corsair at the very least. Level 1 weapons now being researched, so he's going to kind of make his way back to the standard upgrade pattern. But Striker going to go ahead and morph Lurkers and Hydralisks. He can either go for a Bust or a Contain, or a Defense, just straight up. He doesn't really need to go at Seriosity at this point. Three hatcheries in the bottom right-hand corner. It looks like he does want to just transition into mass macro. He's got 60 drones on the field already. He's transferring a large amount of them to that bottom right-hand corner. The Mutalis also checking additional maps just to make sure that Seriosity wasn't able to sneak out and grab his third. Seven gateways out there. Dragoons already there to potentially deal with this. The Mutalis being, ooh, escorted by Hydralisks. So Striker not spending units and he's done a really good job of getting a vision you can see he just kind of sees all of the additional expansion that seriosity might be able to grab and has good eyes on where that army might be the army trying to move forward these hydralists or sorry these mules still potentially might be able to pick off high templar it looks like they're going to get picked off by great storm there by seriosity overlord gets picked off overhead and i think the observer got picked off in the midst of that by a, an incredible snipe by striker so it's going to come down to a single side storm to try to take out that lurker. That lurker delaying everything, and I think Seriosity feeling a little bit uh, sensitive, especially after that after that last match. He doesn't know how many lurkers are potentially there. Bottom right hand corner looking fantastically saturated. In the meantime, three o'clock location looking pretty well saturated. Natural, everything else. Zelts are sneaking up to the twelve o'clock location to potentially grab that third. And finally, another observer rejoins the grouping. But Seriosity is very much in the dark as far as what. Striker's been up to this entire time, and it looks like he set up another defensive lurker field with the Hydralis on the front. Level 1 weapons is there. It's going to be a while, I think, before... Well, it should, we'll see how long it's going to be before level 2 weapons. Yeah, it's about halfway finished. Is there. Psystorm catching a couple of these Hydralis with their pants down, catching a little bit of a lurker as well. Curiosity looking to go ahead and test this natural expansion. He's behind in the overall supply count, but a lot of that is spread. Potentially a pincer attack situation. He's got to be careful he doesn't lose this army. He wants to try to keep it standing so he can at least establish that 12 o'clock base. Overlords hovering over both locations, seeing all of this happen. The army sweeping around. It is possible that this could very rapidly turn into a pincer attack for Striker, moving the lurkers forward. He's armboring the lurkers now. You can see the sweep force moving in from the south. And we'll see which direction Seriosity goes. It's going to be, well, Striker thinking better of it. Is he going to wait for level 2 weapons? Pressing a little bit into Seriosity now. Now moving forward with the rest of that Lurker force. Some side storms being spent to the north. And the Hydralists and Lurkers coming in from the rear. So pinned on both locations. 
Dragoons fanning out absolutely everywhere. The high, oof, everything pinned in. All the observers picked off though, so they're pinned in on either side by lurkers. A lot of dragoons getting picked off. Level two weapons is going to come online in the midst of this attack, but I don't think it makes a different striker. Just obliterating everything. He just had an overwhelming attack force. Nice ice storms now on a concentrated hydralis force. Lurkers pressing forward on this line. The high templar doesn't have any additional storms, so the dragoon line trying to hold the tide so he can keep this 12 o'clock base established but the army is just getting wiped out and striker can continue to macro behind this he's got 61 workers is he gonna even try to press up the high ground maybe not now going for a lurker contain at that natural dropping some lurkers across that bridge a single zealot bravely running across the lines not long for life dragoons trying to reinforce but they're cut off and striker picking off high templar and reinforcements Empty side storm right there. It looks like Stricker backing back into it. Has got a beachhead, but he's being now assailed on either end. Dragoons to the north and to the west. More side storms. Ooh, nice side storms. But the High Templar being picked off before they're able to expend additional side storms. And that level 2 weapon's carving through the Dragoons and realizing that his army was getting peeled open. And he just couldn't keep up with Striker's incredible macro, Seriosity GG's, and that is going to be game three of set two. Oof, brutal thus far. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.